How's it going, everybody? Um, well, I went to a comic book show uh, over the weekend, and I picked up some stuff, so I thought I would do a video and show you guys what I picked up. Um, the show was the Downriver Comic and Collectible Show that they have uh, at the uh, high school up the street from my house. Uh, they've had it, I think, I want to say this is the fourth year they've had it. Um, the first couple of years, it was... Um, getting better and then covid happened and they didn't have it for a couple of years but then it, they, it's bad it was back this year so um it's a saturday sunday show uh and i went on saturday to see what was uh available up there uh unfortunately they didn't have as many vendors as they had last time i was there um but there was a few comic book people so I looked around and grabbed some of these books. So these first books I have here are the um, Spider-Verse um, storyline from the Amazing Spider-Man. I picked all these up for $2 a piece. So I got Amazing Spider-Man um, number nine for, with part one. Um, Amazing Spider-Man part two of the Spider-Verse story no, number 10. Um, here's number three, issue 11. <clears throat> and then uh, part four, issue 12. And then part five, issue number 13. So I was able to pick all those up for $2 a piece. I was really uh, happy to pick those up. Then the same guy, he had a bunch of different books. I picked this one up for $2 too. Um, it's got some spine ticks on it, but it's in a really nice condition. Um it's uh, Wolverine number 88. It's uh, I think this is the first time that Wolverine faces off against Deadpool. Um, <clears throat> for $2, even with the spine ticks, I was pretty happy. But then I, when I got it home, I noticed it was a newsstand version of the, the, co the comic. So I was really happy that that was a newsstand. Um, I picked up an issue of Totally Awesome Hulk number one uh, for a couple of bucks. I did find a... I, uh, had some videos with the uh, 7 for 10 Walmart packs and I ended up finding one of those in one of those too but anyway I picked that one up uh, I also got a Miss Marvel number one I think that's her second series for a couple of dollars um, Star Wars number 14 second printing this is another one I just recently picked up out of a, a Walmart pack but he had it for two dollars so I picked that one up this one was a dollar Look pretty interesting. It's based on the Fox Kids cartoon, um, Spider-Man Unlimited number one. I'm not really sure how many issues of this they uh, ended up doing, but um, I picked up number one, and then I think I'll try and pick up the rest of them if I see them. Uh, this one was a dollar to Marvel Comics Presents number 18. This is the uh, John Byrne uh, She-Hulk uh comic that he was doing this is like a preview of the book that was coming out so i think this is the first time she talks to the reader like breaks the fourth wall and stuff so for a dollar why not uh untold tales of spider-man 96 annual um just a really cool mike elred uh art on that um then i got this one for a dollar the new mutants number one uh i have a copy of that but i didn't want to pass it up for a dollar um, an older copy of Moon Knight, number 17, for a dollar. Uh, this one, Superman, number 75. This is the second printing, the Death of Superman storyline. Picked that one up for a buck. Uh, he had the whole, um, like, run of the Weird Science reprints that Gladstone did back in whatever year they did these. So there was only four of them, but he had all four. So I got them for a dollar a piece. It's Weird Science number one, number two, number three, and number four. Then another dealer that was there, um, they have a comic book shop. It's called Warp Zone um, Collectibles. It's in Riverview, Michigan. He had a big setup there. He, had, he has a exclusive uh, comics and stuff. Uh, or exclusive covers on comics, but he was selling like everybody had pops, Funko pops, and action figures and stuff. But I'm looking through his books, and uh, he had this uh, the golden record reprint 
of the Avengers number four. Now I have the album, the actual vinyl album I bought off of Macari like four years ago for $25. So I've been looking for the comic book for a reasonable price. They had this listed at $50. I thought, you know, I'll never see it again probably. And it's not in the worst condition. I mean, it's obviously seen better days, but it's nice to have the actual comic to go with the actual album. So I figured, you know, $50, I'll bite the bullet and buy them. Uh, then there's another guy that had some comic books. I picked this one up, Spider Force number one. Let's get this out of here. Spider Force, he had number one, number two, and number three. He was selling his comics three for a dollar. So I got all three of those for one buck. Here, pick those up. Then another guy had... Um, some regular show comics because I'm trying to complete that run and he had a bunch of them and I said how much are, there? are you gonna do a dollar piece on those he goes yeah I can do a dollar so I picked up regular show number three which I needed number six I needed and number 10 I needed and then um, number 12 I needed and then I just picked up all the ones he had so just to um so for number five, I picked up for a dollar. Number seven, I picked up for a dollar. Number eight. This one's still a cool cover. I love how they make the them look like real animals. Number nine, and then number 11 for a buck. And then number 13. So these have uh, variant, variant covers too. I think some of these have like two or three covers each. So... I may, I guess maybe if I eventually complete the run, I'll start going for the variant covers too. Um, <clears throat> number 14 for a dollar too. Then I picked this one up for two bucks. Uh, Avengers Unplugged number five. <clears throat> and then the guy that had all the uh, regular show comics, he had a box of magazines and he had like some Planet of the Apes in there. And it's Amazing World of DC um, fanzine mags, and I said, oh, uh, do you have any Foom magazines? And he goes, oh, no, I don't. And then as I started looking through the box, I said, oh, yeah, you do. And this is actually one I need to complete my run. Now I'm down to two left, but he actually had Foom number seven from the fall of 1974. So I was really happy to pick that one up. He gave me that for 20 bucks. So that was cool. Uh, <coughs> he, um, He had a bunch of Planet of the Apes and stuff, and he goes, well, I'd have to price those out and figure out what, how much they were going to be. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe uh, I'll come back tomorrow and, and see. And then when I went back on Sunday, he didn't bring any of the magazines with him. He totally forgot, so whatever. But I also did pick up um, this Galactic Wars comic from uh, Warren, Warren from when Star Wars came out. That was like a dollar. Uh, Indiana Jones, the official magazine. Number six from 2009. This is a previews exclusive cover with Karen Allen on it. Uh, Flash Gordon 3D from 3D Zone. This is number 13. Uh, just some cool flat, older Flash Gordon reprints uh, made, put in 3D. This one looked interesting. Uh, I didn't know too much about it, but for a dollar I'd pick it up. It was Fantastic, Fantastic Comics number three. Just an old fanzine that's got some... Um, artwork by some famous artists. Uh, now I can't remember who's in there. I want to say, uh, like there's a Joe Sinnott drawing of Captain America, I think, and some other people, but, uh, and then he also had this Ghostbuster story book from the first movie. So I picked that one up for a dollar too. I figured what the heck. And then the last thing I'm going to show off, this is, an, I didn't get this at the convention, but I'm really happy that I found these now, but I've been looking forever because I have all the Marvel calendars from the 70s, or the, well, this one's from 1980. But I've been looking for Doctor Strange forever, and I finally found a Doctor Strange uh, Marvel calendar from 1980. So um, I needed that one, and then the only other one I needed was from 1981, and I finally found one of those. So I ended up getting this Doctor Strange calendar for uh, $40 on OfferUp. So I was really excited to get that. And then I found a Marvel Comics 1981 calendar, uh, their 20th anniversary calendar. And I picked that one up for $30. So now I have all the calendars that they produced from 75 to 81. So um, another run.
completed. But uh, other than that, that's all I'm going to show off this time. I just want to show the stuff that I picked up at the convention. Uh, again, I appreciate everybody watching. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I'm on Instagram, also easy as can be. Uh, look me up if you want to check out some stuff on there. Uh, I appreciate all the comments everybody gives me and all the support that I keep getting for the channel. Uh, it's again, it could, it's really, I, I love showing the stuff off and I'm glad that everybody likes the stuff that I've been showing. So uh, other than that, I'll leave you with uh, this video and uh, just say good luck out there hunting for comics and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.